What's going on everybody? You got Tone here, coach of your main Red Claw answers, and we are here bringing you MPL Miners Season 5 Week 7. Uh, this week we are taking on Mio and the Oklahoma City Thunderous, um, who like us are having a pretty rough season. Um, we both have crap records, we both won three game losing streaks, and that one of them has to end. It's pretty much all I'm going to say about that. Um, there you see Mio's team to the right, um, has a Mega Mawile, Gliscor, Keldeo, Celebi, Kovagurgus, Incineroar, Tornius Eye, which is one of the Zemons, Needle King, Haxorus, which is other Zemon, Rotom Frost, Rabombi, and Hypno. So pretty much it's Mega Mawile plus a crap ton of speed control. And pretty much my way of dealing with it was um, primarily just through trying to make sure I have something for Trick Room and something for webs. So um, let me just get right into that really, really quick. I don't have that much time and I am super tired at the time of me recording this. Um, I'm not going to lie, my season has been pretty crap. <laughs> Um, by my standards, as you see, I'm two and four, and dead last in my conference. But nonetheless, um, as for my team, we have uh, Arcanine, Flamethrower, Toxic, Protect, Morning Sun. I can't touch Incineroar, but I'm not really expecting Incineroar in this game. Um, Protect is just a means for me to stall out Trick Room turns. Uh, Toxic is nice for like a good portion of his team, and Mono Flamethrower because. Why the heck not? I don't have anything. Else. I don't really need any other coverage for um, Arcanine. It's not. It's not my Keldeo response. It's not my Gliscor response. It's not my Incineroar response, um, more or less. And the team I am bringing does get cluster fucked by uh, Torn Eye because I have no flying resist on my team. Well, my flying resist is Rotom, Rotom Fan, but Rotom Fan has had the best matchup in this game. So yeah, some like Torn Eye can actually be very very. Um, threatening to my team, especially considering that flying like Z Hurricane Torn Eye literally gives him a kill, like no matter what. Um, so that's my investment. I'm running enough HP and defense investment, lets me avoid being one to KO by Stone Edge from an added max attack Mega Mawile, and the rest is points to death. Um, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say at that. Then we have our uh, Scolipede, which is this thing will click properly. Thank you. Uh, Scolipede, Protect, Poison Jab, Rock Slide, Aqua Tail, Dindy, Mega Horn, I already sell B with Poison Jab, Aqua Tail for the Gliscor, Waterium Z, Sirs, Hydra Vortex, Rock Slide hits the Torn, um, Max Attack and Up Speed for Keldeo, Rest in HP, pretty straightforward. And then we have our um, Mammal Swine, Mammal Swine doing Mammal Swine things, Self Rock 3 attacks, everything is pretty straightforward. Um, I forgot what I'm running speed on this for. I think it is. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I played this game like a like a while back, so I don't remember my EBs off the top of my head. I think I'm enough. It's enough speed for like Incineroar, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Incineroar. But yeah, Mammoth Swine just very straightforward. Mammoth Swine, Mammoth Swine. Like I said, Mammoth Swine doing Mammoth Swine things. Can't really say much about that. Um, next up we have our, um, man, it seems it doesn't want to cooperate with me today, come on, thank you. Uh, there we have my Primarina here, Scald, Moonblast, Encore, Magicoat. So, this is my primary response to Sticky Web. If I see Rabombi on his side of the field, I'm leaning over my Primarina, I click Magicoat, turn one, and he goes for webs. I bounce them back, he can get him up on my side, but if I have to deal with webs, he has to deal with webs too, so that's straightforward. Uh, don't need anything else other than dual stab because Skull plus Moonblast has an entire team neutrally. Um, I forgot what my investment was for. I know the speed is there for Adam and Mawile. Adam and Maxim Mega Mawile. Um, the defense, the HP investment was for something in particular, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, yeah, like I said, it's been a while. I think it, I think it prevented me from being one to KO'd by like non life orb. Needle King Sludge Wave or something like that, or like, let me take a Z acid downpour from Haxorus. It's, it's one of those two. I, I don't remember off the top of my head. And the rest is put in special attack to give it a boost in power with a modest nature, um, all that good stuff. So um, that is my pre-marina. Then we move on to our Mew, which is sort of offensive in a sense. 
Um, I'm finally running, well, yeah, it's more or less offensive. Uh, Roost, Fire Blast, Ice Beam, Psychic, it hits an entire team neutrally. Except for Incineroar, but like I said, I'm not really thinking Incineroar to come this game because I have a Mammoth Swine. I have, um, Primarina, stuff like that. Um, this 232 HP gives me a Life Orb number. It also gives me enough HP to, um, enough bulk to live a Sucker Punch from a Max Attack Adamant Mega Mawile from full. And I KO it back with Fire Blast. Ice Beam hits the Celebi. I mean, in the Gliss score primarily, Psychic hits the Keldeo, um, all that good stuff. So, that is my Mew. And then last up, we have Zoroark, Choice Scarf, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Hidden Power Ice, and Trick. Um, running Modest with enough speed for, I think, um, pretty positive it's like Nidoking. I didn't care about outspeeding Haxorus, um, and there was a reason why. There's a reason, the main reason why I believe it was just because, um, if he Scarf Haxorus, which I doubt he would be, yeah, I went into this game, like, expecting him to not be Scarf Haxorus, like, Dragon Eyes make a lot more sense against my team, um, because he would want us to be able to switch up boots with Haxorus, Haxorus is one of his Z-mons, and, wait, is it one of his Z-mons? Yeah, it's one of his Z-mons, so I figured if the Haxorus does come, he would have, like, Dragon Ants, he need like um, poison jab for my pre marina. He would need like outrage because I have no steel type. Um, and then I like eh, can't talk. And then I guess like earthquake in some manner for like my arcanine or whatnot. But like Dragonium Z or if he's scared that worry about my pre marina poison EMZ does work too. So yeah, that's a team. Uh, that's my team builder, all that stuff. Um, sorry if it sounds a bit rushed, but I'm kind of it's kind of late for me. So, <laughs> um, that all out of the way, I'm just gonna jump right into the battle here, and as you're gonna see, um, he didn't bring Torn, so that's one thing off my mind, he, I don't have to worry about that. Um, he surprisingly brings the Rotom Frost, um, which I don't know what it's gonna do in this game, but for the most part, I expected pretty much everything else. Um, so, like I said in the team, like I said earlier, if I saw Rabombi, my plan was to lead up with Primarina and just click Magical Turn 1. That was my game plan going into this from the get-go. So, let's see how things go and see if we can end our losing streak. So, lead with Primarina, he leads off with the, um, he leads off with the, um, Rebombi. I'm gonna click Magical, he does go for Sticky Webs, we're gonna bounce those webs right back in his face. He goes for Moonblast, so I go for Encore. I expect him to go for webs again, but I get the, um, prediction wrong. As he goes for the, as he switched out into Rotom here on the um, Skull, guess the, I get the burn though, but I'm not going to stay in here, so I'm going to go directly on to my Mammoth Swine. As he goes for Thunderbolt, not going to do anything to me. Um, so I believe I went for um, Stealth Rock this turn, or Icicle Crash, one of those, so yeah. So I went for Icicle Crash, he actually burned my Mammoth Swine, which was uh, kind of a bad play on my part. I should have went Mew, um, because you see I'm, I'm playing my, I'm playing this Mammoth Swine very, very badly, because I needed this thing not burned. But he gets um, the Rabami back in after my half the run goes down to the burn damage. As he gets up um, his webs on my side of the field, and now I'm gonna get my rocks up after getting his last one crash damage. He's gonna kill off my Memo Swine with the Moon Blast, and now I go with my Arcanine. <clears throat> I believe I went straight for a flamethrower, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I went straight for the flamethrower here. If I got the burn, it would have been nice, but I don't. It's fine. Going on to my Skullip, I'm gonna go hard Skullipede. And he's gonna go and get up his rocks too. So now here's my first, now for my first choke of the game. Um, well first, oh not this turn, it's the following turn. Um, he was for protect, I go for, he, he taunts, he tried to taunt me on my protect. Here's my first mistake, and that was, that was the, that was my main mistake right there, was the fact that I didn't, man, I think I just want to pause. Um, anyway, thank you. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so that was my first mistake right there. I had Z Aqua Tail for this Gliss score and I didn't click it. Main reason why I didn't click it, I expected him to go into like Mawal or Keldeo to scout for the Waterium Z, but he didn't. So, yeah, that sucked. Second mistake was pretty much the, the turn, uh, right afterwards, which is pretty much not going for Z Aqua Tail this time because I missed out on killing the Gliss score. And he gets off the extra damage. He won on my um, skull P puts me in range of um, Mawal Sucker Punch, which I'm pretty sure I wasn't anyway. So I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide in case he wants to get cheeky or anything. So now I can't switch out. 
He goes into Mawal, free Mega, free Sucker Punch. Uh, I die anyway on re-entry, so what the po what's the point? So, there's my first choke right there. Here's the second choke. Right here, me going Primarina instead of going Arcanine. Um, so the reason, so my primary reasoning for this was I went Primarina because I felt as though he'll be scared away. He'll be scared to switch out, um, fearing the Scald. Um, the main play I should do was going hard into Arcanine and just get off a flamethrower because I get damage off on something, no matter what the the mon was. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for into Primarina here. I'm gonna click Scald, and as you see, you didn't do a good amount, but not enough. We don't get the burn, and we die to um, Iron Head. So. I just sat on my kill deal switching, which is nice, which is great for me. Um, but it's not great for me, obviously. Um, I go with my Arcanine now, kill off the um, Mon with Flamethrower. Surprised he didn't go for Sucker Punch this turn as I go out in. Oh wait. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm getting ahead. Of, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Um, so let me backtrack for a second. Um, Man, like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. So what happened that turn was that was my Zoroark. I came in with my Zoroark disguised as my Arcanine. That was the main reason why I didn't go Arcanine. I wanted to keep the disguise on my um, Zoroark um, as Arcanine to bait in the. It was bait something in particular, but he didn't bring the. Um... Uh, what you call it? It was something in particular. I wanted to um, flamethrower here so he wouldn't get down, uh, leave him until false sense of security. It was something in particular on his team that he had that I wanted to disguise my Zorak as Arcanine, but it didn't work out. So I went into I went Arcanine this turn because I mean I went to Zorak this turn because um, I may both had flamethrower and I I lost nothing by just clicking it that turn. Even if he went on to like Haxorus or Keldeo. It didn't matter to me, so what I do now is after I kill off the um <clears throat> after I kill off the Maw the Mawa with my Zoroark, I now go into my Mew here, expecting to go for like a secret sword or a skull, whatever the case may be, as he goes for um he goes for a secret sword here, doesn't do much. It's, this is my um this is actually my Mew. So now I believe I just go for a fire I go for a, I think I roosted this turn. I'm not gonna I think I don't Okay, sorry. Right. No, I did that. Click Psychic. Yeah, it's like I said, it's been a while. So now I go into my actual... Yeah, I go into my actual Arcanine, because I got the Intimidate off, and I get to force him to reveal the um, Z, the Dragonium Z on the Haxorus. He's now going to go for um, Earthquake and kill off my Arcanine. I don't have E-Speed on this thing. Um, so now I go into my um, my Zorg again, the disguise is my Mew this time. I click Flamethrower, take out the Haxorus. And then I got something to with Rubombi, expecting me to outspeed and all that stuff. But this is a Scarf Zoroark, kill out with the Flamethrower. Um, so that's all well and good. So now, last Pokemon is Keldeo. But I kind of mess up the pl this play. Cause I, I stay in, um, go for Flamethrower, force him to kill me off with the Surf, um, which is my actual Zoroark. So down goes my Zoroark now, in comes my Mew. And I am going to get killed by the Surf. It got a crit, which didn't matter, cause I'm um, doing the calcs afterwards. Like I know I'm speeding through this a bit, but I'm um, just trying to explain that last couple of turns here. Um, it would have been a lot better for me if my Zoroark had extra sensory, but I didn't. I just put um, HP Ice for Gliscor. Um, so just to explain those those last like couple of turns like I could have switched out into my actual Mew But I didn't want to risk I couldn't risk um, My Mew couldn't take a uh, Sacred Sword into a Surf and I didn't know if he was Scarf or Specs whatever the case may be um, Well, I know he wasn't Scarf because if he was a, if he was a Scarf kill deal he would have outsped my Zoroark um so it turns out afterwards he was splash plate and despite the fact that he got that last turn crit it didn't matter because the roll was in his favor anyway and even if my Mew lived it would have ended up being a 0-0 win for me so um yeah that's pretty much the long and short of it um but bottom line is we lose again um, and it was mainly just because of the way I played Scolipede and the way 
I handled the Mawile after Skull P went down. I should have went Arcanine um, the turn after Skull P went down. I played a little, I played too passively with my Skull P in this game. Um, I am happy though that the Magical Primarina um, gimmick worked uh, turn one, but the way I played it afterwards was a little bit less to be desired. That was my own fault. So we're now two and five, negative ten, um, second to last in the entire league, and still dead last in our conference. I think we lose if we lose our next game, uh, we are officially out of playoff contention. But eh, what can you do? Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like. Um, check out the um, other coaches, the MPL miners, all that other stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. For Until the next time, this is Tone, signing off for now. Peace out.